What with Puma destroying football shirts forevermore, there is a strong argument that could be made that the most creative shirts coming out these days are actually from the North American non-league system. Shh. I mean, I've already looked at the Forward Madison drip shirt and the lovely Fall River Marksman home shirt. And though it's taken me nearly nine months, I've finally gone rogue. As in this video, I chat share about the 2021 in area Providence City Death by Paisley kit. Providence City FC are based in Providence in Rhode Island and play in the BSSL and were set up in 2015. And in those six years, they've already become quite synonymous with inventive kits. A lot of people going nuts for the hammer kit. My favorite personally being the Goodnight Lights kit and the 2020 Treat Yourself kit, which have all been in conjunction with local businesses in Providence. But the Death by Paisley kit focuses solely on the rogues. And let's start there. The badge itself is one of the meanest, most dynamic looking badges I think that's around. Obviously the skull and crossbones links to the kind of maritime New England feel. Heat pressed on here which is a super nice touch. Now this is called Death by Paisley, which obviously refers to the sleeves. Manchester City had a Paisley kit this year that split opinion, but for me, this one works brilliantly. The design featuring skulls, clubs, the PVD standing for Providence, and little rogue text in there as well. The PVD also featuring at the top of the back with some crossed swords. Also loving that breathable back, by the way. That flappy oversized collar isn't for everyone, but I absolutely love it. I'm not sure I've ever actually seen a collar like this. For me, this shirt highlights why I wasn't really a big fan of the Club America 3rd shirt. The Club America 3rd shirt is a touch too impersonal, like I said in my review of it. Those symbols on it feel a touch generic. Whereas the Paisley design on this shirt is unique and bespoke and befitting of Providence City FC. And that's the testament to how good Inaria is as a manufacturer. That their relationship with Providence City allows for this kind of customizable, wonderful design. Providence City really care about their kit and I absolutely loved it. It came with fab little extras and actually a signed postcard from one of the founders as well. And I agree with Sartori Osaki that actually, I think this one's gonna be one of the shirts of the year when it comes around to December. But what do you think? Let me know.